Welcome back Vonda crew, if you're new to the channel you're gonna want to subscribe. We're going around the world in a Hinkley Bermuda 40, but first we gotta build it. We are varnishing a companionway hatch and oh man this is looking so nice. Oh my god, the varnish is still wet so that kind of, you know, plays a little trick on your eye. It makes it look a little shinier than it actually is, but still, I mean... <clears throat> Once you hit seven coats on this thing, it's going to be looking like glass, and it's going to feel like glass. It's going to squeak when you put your hands on it. We made a lot of progress already. I've already, ac I've actually finished this companionway hatch by the time I've posted this video. Um, yeah, I ended up doing seven total coats and seven sandings. So we sanded this thing seven times and then varnished it seven times and it just looks amazing. You guys will see in probably like two videos. I know I'm so far behind. I've, I've really been trying. <clears throat> um, it, it actually is a lot of work to make these videos and do the amount of work that I've been doing. I mean, I've just been working so hard. I still have a regular job that I have to do. So hey, um, speaking of jobs and money and financial stuff, my website is up check it out i've got some merch on there you can buy we've got t-shirts we've got mugs uh if you want to support the channel you know buy some merch it's a good way for you to give to me and get a little something back um you know anything helps i mean i really appreciate it guys if i love making content for you i love sailing i love doing all this stuff i want to do it more and you know currently with work and with doing this you know it's very hard to keep everything going but i'm still gonna keep trying i'm still gonna keep going you know I'm going to do everything I can in my power to keep making videos and keep get, and get this sailing dream going. I mean, you guys already know I've wanted to do this for my whole life, basically. So nothing's going to stop me, right? <laughs> you ain't never heard a crackhead say they didn't have money for crack, you know? So I definitely don't have, you know, time for sailing. I mean, I'll always have time for sailing. By the way... This was, was my first time using a table saw. Uh, never get your hands that close to the blade. Not good. I have watched a ton of tutorial videos since this on how to use a table saw correctly and proper safety procedures. So, yeah, you know, I mean, as someone who grew up using tools their whole life, um, I didn't even think twice when I, when I was using the table saw. But after using it the first time, I realized this thing was really powerful and... You know, it was a lot harder contr to control and use than I thought it would be. So, I, uh, yeah, I did some research, made sure we used that right. Here we are sanding again. You guys already know. I mean, psh, we're just, guys, I love sanding. Why do you think I do it so much? I mean, I wouldn't have got a boat if I didn't love sanding. It is so much fun. We, oh my God, you just get to sit there and, you know, I should probably be wearing a face mask. I don't know why I'm not. I literally have a respirator in that cabinet right behind me and I'm not using it. Don't be like me, guys. I'm a dummy. Um, <laughs> use a respirator if you want your lungs to last. Always use a respirator when making dust particles in the air. I mean, it doesn't really matter inside, outside. If you're doing anything that causes dust, use a respirator, please. Um, here's our hatch again. I'm sure you guys have seen enough of this thing. Uh, <laughs> but we're getting there. I'm, you know, there's still going to be more, more updates on the hatch. At this point, like I said, we've completely finished it. We'll be, I have two hatches done now. I completed my V-Birth hatch before I even started the vlog series. So maybe in a later video, I'll cover that one. But we've got two of our hatches done, only one left. Speaking of the V-Birth, we're up in the V-Birth now. You're probably wondering, Garrett, what are you doing? You know, this shit's not making sense. You were varnishing, now you're cutting shit up. I thought you were trying to build the boat. Why are you destroying it? Now, hold on. So, I'm trying to cut all this stuff out because we're going to redesign this entire V-Birth. Uh, my plan... It, it won't be redesigned by the time the boat launches. My plan here is to get all this stuff out now. And actually, at this point, I've already ground out all this old paint t as well, too. So, I mean, we're way beyond where we're at. Uh, I'd say these videos are probably a month behind where 
we're actually at. So I'd like to get him caught up. I'd like to get a more strict schedule. I'm really trying, guys. I had to upgrade my computer. You won't believe this. I have a really good computer. I have a um, gaming computer that I built, essentially. I mean, crazy specs. This thing's insane. But I only had 16 gigabytes of RAM in this thing. So I was editing videos, and I did not realize I only had 16 gigabytes of RAM. I thought I had at least 32. I was editing videos. Um, it was really hard to edit because it couldn't even pre-render everything, so the playback was really choppy when I'd be in the video editor. And lo and behold, I just didn't have enough RAM, and I'm, you know, editing in 4K 60fps, so this, this takes a lot of memory, guys. I mean, I've got external drives over here, I've got all this crazy RAM, uh, so we, we got 64 gigabytes of DDR4 3600 MHz. If you're not a computer person, uh, that's essentially really good. So really easy to edit videos that was putting a big hold up on me making videos so now we're back i'm gonna try and pump a bunch of these out i'm having a lot of fun working on the boat guys i'm ha having a lot of fun making these videos by the way if you haven't give the video a like and if you haven't subscribed to my channel it really helps us out you know or really helps me out um and i really appreciate it so you know stay up to date you'll you'll get to follow along as we progress and we'll keep going uh i really hope by the time, what I would like to do when I finish all these vlog videos and get the boat in the water is create one video that kind of just does a whole time lapse through the entire process from start to finish. I still need to make a video, uh, a video updating you guys on all the progress we made prior to me even making any of the vlog series videos. I recorded a whole bunch of footage and just had a, I have a whole bunch saved up that I haven't even put on YouTube or even edited. Uh, I have it in a file. I can get. I'm gonna get started on it soon. But I'd really like to kind of get some momentum here first. So we're still figuring out how to make things, graphics, overlays. I mean, I just made the site. I'd like to get more on my website besides just merch. I would like to put updates on there and even make it to where you could see videos, maybe. Uh, a week before they're actually on the YouTube channel so do like private link and then uh, set the videos to publicly list after a week but if you're on the website you would obviously have the link and it would just be embedded and so you'd be able to watch videos a week early and then I can also put updates on there and keep everyone up to date on everything uh, just keep be a good spot a uh, good place to you know to to keep up to date with the website so yeah here we are we're just tearing this v-birth apart i'm going to get all these cabinets out and just leave the bulkhead in and then my plan later on before putting the boat in the water is i'm just going to build like a grate over this that's supported and put a mattress on top of it i've been thinking about using one of those purple mattresses because they have like a honeycomb gel structure so I think that would be really good to have on a boat because it'd be totally marine resistant and it's because it's a honeycomb structure the you know just as airflow through it so moisture is not going to get trapped in there or anything so yeah I'll let you guys know more about it about that when I get to that point <clears throat> so here we are we're um this is our second template for floor beam number four four is the one that connects to the head bulkhead so my idea is to get this one built and in place in the boat and then I can build all the floor beams off of this one so right now I'm building the template up and I'm measuring it out and seeing what needs to be done I actually think this template ended up fitting perfectly so we're gonna go back and we're gonna make our real floor beam I have way more footage on the actual process of making all these floor beams that you're gonna see in the next few videos so definitely you know keep an eye out it's some really cool stuff doing the fiberglass work and the laying up the fiberglass and everything when I first made this floor beam number four I actually messed up and used the wrong fiberglass and you know it was my first fiberglassing attempt so what can I say yeah, here we go. This is where we're at. Um, I've actually already ground all this out by this point, so all this paint is gone. It's all ground out. It's green. I'm probably going to grind up all this other paint too because there was some contact cement behind it that I lazily painted over. And, you know, that was before I knew the secrets of grinding. So I might just go back and grind all that contact cement out to get a smooth surface and paint over it. Take these shelves out, you know, take, take those drawers out. Um, 
maybe probably not the drawers i don't know i haven't decided yet this this is a good length i want to do a king size mattress and if i do it'll fit all the way across and i'll be able to get it all the way to the back it'll take you know a good majority of the space and the reason i want to set it up like that is so i can sleep a thwart ship and alongside of the ship so if i'm underway i can sleep perpendicular to the length of the ship that way i'm not like tossing and turning um and then if i'm you know at anchor i can sleep uh lengthwise so here we are we're sanding this companionway hatch yet again um probably in about two videos you're gonna see me putting it all together so i had it has like some metal sliders and we polished those up and then i bought new screws and re-drilled out the holes and got the correct screws that fit and are countersunk perfectly so we countersunk those screws in and it is just looking great after we finish up this hatch we are going to start constructing um our floor beam the our that fourth floor beam and again like i said i messed it up the first time i don't rem i don't know if i put in the video of me fiberglassing it the first time the wrong way that might be in the next vlog i haven't gone through all the clips yet it's so much footage guys and it's like 300 gigabytes of footage that i need to go through and that's just for these vlogs i have way even more on my phone so if you don't know i'm using iphone 13 pro to record and I have a terabyte storage on it so I record just a whole bunch of footage I record everything I do and then I have you know five terabytes of external storage on my computer and I just put all of it on there and edit it so you know for these next three vlogs is like 260 gigs yeah so here this is uh, the floor beam uh, floor oh my gosh I can't talk this is floor beam four that we're making uh, I'm measuring out the length, so we're going to make it a little longer than it actually is and wrap wrap it up, and then we'll cut it to length once it's all wrapped up. I'm using African mahogany hardwood. Uh, yeah, everyone I've told, I'm always like, yeah, it's African mahogany. Everyone's like, what? That's expensive. You're so crazy. This is actually like one of the cheapest hardwoods. I believe this is like $5 a board foot where I got it. I got it at TH and H Lumber. Um, oh, again, be careful guys. This board was just too big and I didn't have support on the other side and I wasn't thinking. And as soon as I cut through it too much, the uh, board grabbed the blade and flew up. Luckily, the board was so big and heavy, there wasn't any kickback. Um, but yeah, you just got to be careful of that, guys. Table saw is so powerful. I recommend if you've never, if you get a table saw and you've never used one, definitely watch videos online on how to do it. So here I'm just, you know, ripping this through the table saw, shaping it up. We got it straight on both edges. We got it straight on the back edge. So now we're going to be... Um, marking up the corners and marking up the angles so yeah i got my right angle over here we're measuring all this out we're gonna once we mark up the angles we'll um we'll cut these angles and it should be pretty well shaped i always leave more wood on there than i mark so it's always better to you know you can't you can't put material back on you can always cut more off so i try to keep my give myself ample extra material and you just sand away if you got too much extra and because you never know the last thing you want to do is remake this floor beam like i ended up having to do anyways because i fiberglassed it wrong um even when i fiberglass it wrong i tried to grind it off and rewrap it but it just yeah just what really happened was it was thicker than the other ones I made that were perfect that, or that were better after I, you know, had my learning attempt. Uh, it was just, it was probably about two, uh, one eighth to three sixteenths inches thicker than all of them. And I just didn't want a chance, you know, messing up, leveling out, keeping my floor level. So I just remade this one and, you know, just decided that that first one I made would be a uh, considered a learning opportunity. Um, so yeah, we made this. It's looking good. I'm just going to sand the edges. That way it's easy to wrap the fiberglass around. And guys, once I wrap this in fiberglass, I ended up painting them and installing LED lights. So at the point I'm at now, by the time I'm uploading this, I've already installed the, the, the fixed fourth floor beam and I've installed LED I've painted the bottom and installed LED lights on it. Uh, if you don't know, I'm using total boat epoxy one part bilge paint. It's a really good paint for the bilge. It's super durable. I put, I do about three coats, let it harden for a day. Um, really good. So yeah, 
please stay keep in touch guys uh stay tuned i've got so many more videos i'm gonna be uploading i'm gonna try and queue up about two or three today go check out my website if you haven't seen it i'm gonna be making constant updates on there uh, i spent a lot of time setting it all up if you don't know i'm actually uh, a programmer so i know i'm just throwing so much at you guys today but don't worry as i keep making these videos hopefully we'll get more acquainted you'll figure out more about me and you know if you guys have any questions drop a comment you know and i'll answer i, I want to engage with you guys i want to talk to you guys you know tell me what you want to see tell me what you like like and yeah tell me what kind of boat you have if you got a boat thanks for watching guys